The Black Stars bounced back from their defeat against Japan in the ongoing Korean Cup in Japan and have beaten um, South American side Chile on a penalty shootout today. Actually, it was a match full of drama and excitement because um, the Chileans possessed more of the ball and at a point, the Black Stars were even down to nine men. Ali Duseidu, Black Star defender Ali Duseidu and Mubarak Wakasu were sent off in the 67th and 78th minute respectively. But we still managed to prevent them from scoring and at the end of the match, we were having only nine men on the pitch. But it went into penalty shootout and Black Stars goalkeeper Abdul Manaf Nuridin was the hero. He saved two of the Chileans' penalties with their last penalty flying over the crossbar. The Black Stars managed to score all the three penalties they took and won 3-1 on a penalty shootout. But the heroics of Abdul Manaf Nuridin has been a talking point after the match. And Ghanaians are very impressed by his performance because... If you followed Black Stars for a very long time, you, then you know that uh, we are not very good when it comes to penalty shootout. So this young uh, goalkeeper stepping up and saving two penalties has really impressed Ghanaians. And many have started calling for him to be reassigned as the number one goalkeeper for the Black Stars. I mean, a position that is already occupied by Joseph Wolakot. Some Ghanaians, including some... Uh, Popular journalists are even calling for that decision to be made by Otoadu. So you can see them from the tweet here. George Ado Jr., um, a joy sport journalist. He said, two saves in a penalty shootout for Ghana is rare. Manaf Nuri, nice work. So he was impressed also. Um, one guy called Acel, he said, we have Nuri Peter Cech. Goodbye to incredible Ziggy. Incredible Ziggy, he is referring to Lawrence Atizigi, who was in post when we played against Japan. Actually, he was he didn't perform very well. He considered four goals, which really got some Ghanaians agitated because they felt his performance was very awful. And maybe after this heroics by Abdulmanav Nuridi, maybe he will rise on the pecking order ahead of Lawrence Atizigi. Another guy also said, Manaf Nuruddin should be our first choice goalkeeper. He came out of his comfort zone and played as an extra defender. Ghana needed after the red cards. Solid performance, even if you take the penalty shootout away. So he was also impressed by his performance. Another guy called Mempassan President. He said, Abdul Manaf Nuruddin should be Black Star's number one goalkeeper. Um, Kofi Kenata, he said, OC oh, Black Star's. Um, another guy called um, Kojo Dynamic, he said, Manaf is good for saving some of the penalties. Twilight also said, Manaf Nuridin is a better goalkeeper than DDJ, Testegen and Alison Becker. So DDJ, he meant uh, Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gea. And for those who don't know this, Abdul Manaf Nuridin we are talking about, um, I think the name is probably new to many of you because he has not been featuring regularly for the Black Stars. Um, he's a 23-year-old um, Ghanaian footballer and he's one of the Ghanaian players abroad who features regularly for their club teams. He made 20 appearances last season and was able to help his club escape relegation. Manaf also has the height. I mean, he possesses that height of a modern goalkeeper. He stands 1.9 meters tall. So you can clearly tell how easy it is for him to um, stretch and save penalties like he did today. Actually, he's got the same height as um, our first choice goalkeeper, Jojo Gulakot, who is also 1.9 meters tall. Abdumanav Nuruddin and Gulakot are some of the few towering goalkeepers we've had in our Black Stars team. Compared to the likes of Samir J, George Owu, Richard Kinson, they were all... Below 1.9 meters. Even Lawrence Atizegi and Richard Oforia are all below 1.9 meters. So it indeed shows um, we have another special goalkeeper, a modern one, of course. And we hope he keeps up with his performance. So Abdul Manaf Nuruddin is being praised by a lot of people um, in, on social media. And I'm sure Otuado will be making some key decisions in our subsequent matches. As far as the first choice goalkeeping rule is concerned. Just as I said in my last video, 
um, the Black Stars playing a South American side is a very good one because at the World Cup, we'll be facing a South American side in the group stages, that is Uruguay. And facing Chile today will give Otuado and his technical team some sort of clue as to how to approach these South American teams. But looking at the performance today, you can clearly see that there's a lot of work to be done. I mean, the quality is still not at the appreciable level. Our attack needs to be sharper. Our defense needs to be more consolidated. Our midfielders need to be more quick in terms of decision making and making timely passes. And these are some of the things Coach Otuado need to look at and improve before the World Cup uh, begins. And at this point, if no friendly games are uh, arranged by the GFA, then our next fixture will be on the 19th of September 2022, where we'll be facing Angola in the African Cup of Nations qualification. And we all hope by then those uh, players who have swayed nationality to Ghana, like um, Tarek Lamti. We hope to see him in the squad. And also players like Salisu Mohamed, who is here to make Blaster's debut. We also hope to see him. And also the likes of Kalimos in Odor, Nico Williams and Inaki Williams, who are reportedly um, on the verge of switching nationality to Ghana. We hope they will join the squad and help improve the quality in the team ahead of the Mundial. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and also like. Don't hesitate to also comment. Until we meet again in our next video, it's bye for now.